few things here. So I have, you know, we got a Raspberry Pi here. And this one here is probably what I'm going to use to make a portable one here. I already got some heat sinks on it. Um, I don't need the PoE on there, but we'll probably leave it alone. And we got analog and we have HDMI on this unit. So that gives us some, uh, some play on it. And I will probably use... I got it sitting here somewhere. There we go. Let's just go ahead and put it on right now. A 3.5 inch touchscreen. Um, touchscreen part doesn't matter. We won't be using that. It's not compatible with uh, what I'll most likely be using for the operating system of uh, RetroPie. I have a few choices for batteries. Let's see here. I got a Bluetooth controller with a battery in it. No reason. I just have it stuck in there, but nice thing about this battery here is it sends out a solid three amps eh, so they say and we also have a normal one amp here um, five volt usb so okay so in this bag is actually the case for this setup here it came, it came with the uh touch screen i've got all the mounting uh screws and everything in here no instructions but Pretty sure I can probably figure it out. Hopefully. Looks like I'm going to have to take it apart to do that. Okay, so now that I have this, see if I can get a better lighting on it. There we go. So you'll see, you'll see in there that I have the plastic washer there and the, there and there before the nuts on there. I still got them a little loose because I have to... Uh, Take the paper off the bottom still, but yeah, I got all four of them. This one was a little tougher. I actually just kind of held the nut on there with my finger once I had it on there and then began to screw the bottom in. Otherwise, time to take off what I should have took off right away. Oh, it's coming off a lot easier than I expected. I'll put a link to this monitor too in the... Uh, in the description. If I forgot, remind forget remind me in the uh, remind me in the um, comments, and, I'll, and I can put it on there. And when I say monitor, uh, the the acrylic came with the monitor, so it'll be a, it's a whole kit. But yeah, I'm going to then I'm going to continue to put uh, get my shaky fingers on there. There we go. Put these on here, and then the posts will be on there. So when when I cut back, those will be done. So I took the front bezel back off actually and took off the upper right post here and left these on. And the reason why is I have, you maybe saw this in an old video too. I put a lot of stuff in videos apparently. Um, well, back I was looking out to see if anyone had any idea on what they wanted me to do. And I really would love to have a Game Boy uh, system. The only downfall I had with it was it sucked batteries like no tomorrow. Um, I mean, it's almost a joke on how bad that was. But otherwise, you know, it was. I didn't find it that uncomfortable. I've mentioned in other videos too how I I like the side layout style. Um, I mean, I like the Game Boy style also. But I mean, I I like the Sega Genesis. This is what I had. Well, I had a Game Boy also, but I like the color screen. Uh, but I was tethered to a power outlet. Um, but another downfall was you only had a start button. A lot of limitations by only having a start button. But it really, in today's world, would not be that hard to maybe even... I mean, ergonomically, that doesn't feel too good reaching here. That's kind of a jump there. Of course, if I rounded that out and then put one there, I'd have to go through... I'd have to go through this, and I actually really like that being there. But I could... I could put four buttons there, and then two up here for start could even do shoulder buttons up here I mean, there's so much that could be done but besides that one of the reasons why i did that is i found that this if i put it in here and i get if i get the posts on either side of the screw downs there 
And then on the top here, the, HDM, the HDMI rests right against the screw down post in there. And then right there, this post goes down to the screw down post there. This one here actually landed right on top of there. I, I could actually cut that short to fit on there, which would work out great. But there, so everything's kind of snugged in there. I don't want to do anything permanent though until I can get an OS on here of some sort, whether it's RetroPie or whatever, because the screen itself is larger than this opening here. So I have to make sure the resolution fits that. And I can see right now that I don't have it in at a straight angle. So that would take some playing around with too. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. Uh, then if I flip it over here, I'd have to do a lot, a lot of trimming to get this to close. Um, I mean, pretty much everything, pretty much everything here would have to go. Uh, this would have to be cut out. The battery compartments would have to be cut out. Yeah, so when, you know, when you open this door here, it would give you access to the SD card. And when you open this door here, it would give you access to the USBs and the network and everything. And then maybe even have something on top where I can I can get a hold of the HDMI or do something with the HDMI where it could be hooked to a television still. So you could always put uh, controllers in here or I don't know, something, you know, anything would be great. Uh, the speaker still in here. It's just a mono speaker, but just for authenticity, maybe not the worst thing to be able to hook into that. Otherwise, let's see how that looks on the back here. Yeah, it's it's got that grill. I mean, I guess I could put another speaker here. I would like to at least maintain this. It's a good solid piece. Everything's on there. So if I could get these posts to line up somehow in here, that would give me a way to when I take the when I take it apart, that would give me access to like if I had to replace a Raspberry Pi or something or some something went wrong, just to unscrew those three, or if I do shorten this post to fit in there, just unscrew those and then the whole Raspberry Pi would come out. Um, you know, you want to build it where you can take it back apart. Otherwise, you could really, you know, get yourself in a corner. I, generally, all these work just fine until I get towards the end and I paint myself into a corner and I do something stupid, usually when there's soldering involved. And So, yeah, I think I'm going to... Um, Hook this to a monitor to finish the setup. God, that is ungodly small. And the resolution is... I'm actually surprised I can even make out some of the words there. Um, it actually does say Raspberry Pi up there. I can make that out. I probably could fidget my way through here, but I'm going to get it to a monitor to do the rest here. Oh, look at that. Network options. I could probably do it on here, actually. But I'm not going to torture myself. But I got to get this going so I can uh, start messing with the resolution to. Because I'm, I'm guessing. Let's see here. Where is? I don't even know where the case went anymore. Here's the back. Here's the front. Here we go. So as you can see, there's going to be a size difference in the windows here. Actually, it's not going to be as bad as I thought. It's going to be pretty close, actually. That is, uh, oh, let me get it back on. I'm not looking through the, you know, whenever I play games on this thing, I'm always looking through the camera. Then I want to actually show you guys something, and I'm not looking through the camera. Well, there we go. That is actually going to be really close. I'm actually really happy with how that's going to turn out. So let me get back to work, and I'll be back. really beat up. But then again, I don't, you know, this just so everyone knows, this was a cap replacement I tried doing, and it failed miserably. I've done about five of them successfully. Uh, this one just didn't go well, it, and everything looked like it went well. It was just, it wouldn't power on and stuff like that. So I saved the shell. 
Um, I donated the parts to somebody who wanted them that thought maybe they could get it going. And um, yeah, so I didn't destroy a good working Game Gear to do this. Um, but with that said, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I really struggled to actually get that in. I got the lights off, everything. That stupid lightning bolt in the upper right-hand corner. Um, I'm actually thinking of using a different Raspberry Pi. I want to see if my Pi 2 will work with this because I am really thinking of only doing Game Gear on here. Uh, the Amiga's on there just because the image comes with that. I got a SSH in and see if I can get rid of that. Uh, but I did go through and I set this up with a... Um, this has... Actually, let me show you the whole thing here. Yeah, that's bright. Um, so... I do have the Wi-Fi set up on here with the battery compartment door in the back. Uh, I should have access to both sides, uh, one side being the USB ports, the other side being the SD card. Uh, I do have this just kind of leaning in there lightly. I have to figure out how I'm going to do buttons and stuff. Like I mentioned, I am using a Hori controller here. Um, and I just bumped it a little bit here. Uh, what I want to do is get it to go right into the Game Gear list too because I don't... For now, I don't want to have any other games on there. I do want this just to be a Game Gear, so let me shut the light back off and see. Yeah, that's good in there. Well, that might hold. We'll leave it like that. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably do a different background also. I probably won't stick with this one. I'll probably do a different um, scheme, I think they call it. Yeah, let's find out. Let's see here, user interface settings. It's on Carbon now, which seems to be the uh, common one. Theme set, there we go. And you can, I don't have any, you can you can go into the RetroArch, and, uh, or the, not RetroArch, sorry, the RetroPie setup and get more of those. But you'll, you can see here that it is cutting off the screen. So I am going to have to go and take care of that. Yeah, so let's go here, Game Gear, and then um, i got to figure out some things like, you know, sound items like that. Captain America and the Avengers. And of course I want to run a scraper on here, which will take forever in a day. Uh, but things like that that I want to see uh, see work on here. And I want to see if I can buff up the screen on here a little bit. Maybe clear it up. Can't make it much worse. But here you'll see, actually let's get into some graphics. You'll see it some be you'll see it better. But there you'll see I have a huge border around it. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do there. If I'm going to just oversize it a little bit and see if that makes a difference and if the font shows up, there'll have to be a balance between the menu and this part here. Uh, or maybe there is a way to uh, manipulate the emulator over the main menu. Yep. The next video will be probably figuring out just power needs. Uh, I need to figure out how to get them in there. If I'm not, if I'm going to stick with the Raspberry Pi B plus three, it just uses too much juice. You, it, it, the power consumption on it was dumb. Uh, the what I need to look into is maybe seeing if I can get this screen to work with a B plus, uh, because this. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, playing the game now, and I'm looking through the camera. Now I'm looking through the camera. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can maybe get yeah power figured out on this. Whether it's the um, Raspberry Pi 2, I believe that works with the screen I have. And if it does, that'll be great because that has a lower power consumption. And I don't need a lot of power for uh, Game Gear. I could probably put Master System on here. I'll think about it just because, you know, the Master System pretty much uses the same kind of controllers and stuff. So we'll have to see. I, I'm not making any decisions on any of that right now, but we'll see. I got to figure out how to get... Mr. Stark here, Tony Stank, to fly upwards, so we'll see. Uh, but if you liked the video, let me know. Um, I, I'll probably make the part two on this one no matter what, just because I want to do this. Well, actually, I want to do all my things, but this one I'm really, really eager to do. Uh, I know I say I'm going to do some on my other videos, but I don't ever hear anything, so I try different things. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you have any ideas, too, about like the overscan or screen resolution or anything like that, let me know. And I'll see what I can do. I'm not so much worried about the screen resolution in one or the other. It's getting, you know, the main menu or the, the emulator. But it's getting maybe both of them to play nicely together. But other than that, uh, like, share, spread it around. 
get some ideas out there for me. Thanks.